What should you do to get your home ready for pictures and for your first showing? Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and this is a really common question, and it's something that you have control over that you can make a difference in terms of how much money your home ultimately achieves when it goes on the marketplace, and the best time to prepare your home for the market is when it's not on the market, let's be honest. And we talked about staging, all the time, we talk about staging all the time, you wanna stage your home because staged homes sell for more money. Staging doesn't mean adding more furniture, it actually means removing a lot of things. And, and I want you to start in the right areas because yes, should you stage or prepare your entire house? Absolutely, do you have time to? Probably not, right? You can't actually declutter your entire house. There'd be nothing left, you'd be moved out, right? And you need 10 storage units, so let's go in the most now, impactful order of what rooms to start in to prepare your home for the, for the market. Number one, the most important room to start in is the living room. So as you walk in the door, what room do you enter in on, right? For most homes, it's the living room. If it's not the living room, start there. So when you open the front door as the buyer, can pretend you're the buyer, what room do you enter in? That room needs to be staged, right? That's the first impression. So what does stage mean? Well, stage means you need to clean it up, right? Get it super sparkly clean. Um, shampoo the carpets. Update the flooring if the carpet's old. Paint it neutral color white, right? Uh, update the lighting. Take, take out all personal items. And personal items are the photos, but it also could be memorabilia, artwork, Anything that maybe is your taste but not necessarily someone else's taste, take it down, that's depersonalizing. That's staging that room, that's the first impression. The second one is the front entrance of your house. It's not even a room, it's actually the porch or the what's the front door, right? Do you need to upgrade the front door? I tell a lot of people, paint the front door or replace it with a new steel door. Number one ROI, return on investment, is a new front door. Can you do potted plants there? Can you, right now, you know, during the winter time, can you shovel it, right? Can you just spruce it up, right? Spruce up that front entrance. So you have the living room, you have the front entrance, and then you have the kitchen, right? And people spend a ton of time in the kitchen. And so I've shown thousands of homes, they go living room, kitchen, boom, living room, kitchen, front door, living room, kitchen, stage the kitchen. What does that mean? Countertops clear, clear the countertops, freshen it up with paint, maybe a new backsplash new lighting, right? New appliances if they're old. It could be as simple as new kitchen linens that you won't even use because you're living there, right? Just some beautiful linens that freshens it up. Go there, depersonalize it. Your refrigerator should not have all of the family photos and all of the events and all of the save the dates and all of the awards, time to declutter it. Because when you put your home on the market, there's something you need to understand, it's no longer your house. It's no longer your house. You're actually staging it for someone else to move in, not you, right? If you wanna buy it again, go for it, right? That's called a refinance, right? It's funny because people are like, well, I'm, I don't wanna buy a new home. I'm gonna refinance. You're buying your home again. You understand that, right? A refinance is buying your home again. It's pretty obvious, right? They just sold you the house again with interest and fees, saying, and you're happy about it. <laughs> it's so funny, right? And you don't even like it that much. Okay, so living room, front door, kitchen, and then one bedroom, okay? One bedroom. I would pick the master or the biggest bedroom. That's just me, right? Because I know this, I've shown thousands of homes, the buyers are gonna go in the bedroom and wonder whether or not their stuff fits. And the most important part of the bedroom that they wanna know whether or not it fits is their bed. So if, Chances are buyers want to put a king size bed in there. You better make your bedroom look like it can fit a king size bed and a couple dressers easily, right? That's your goal. Make it look like it can do it. And if you can prove it to them, show them. Demonstrate it with a king size bed. If you need to get rid of that bedroom set because it's way too big, maybe you should do that. That's part of staging, downsizing, decluttering. So those are my tips for you guys. You know, living room, front door, kitchen, bedrooms. If you refinance, it's like buying a new home. Freshen it up, get new lighting, depersonalize. See you later.